what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Rihanna sat down with British Vogue and said that she would like to have three or four kids and raise them without the father in the picture. She said, I feel like society makes you feel like, oh, you got it wrong. They diminish you as a mother if there's not a dad in your kids' lives. But the only thing that matters is happiness. That's the only healthy relationship between a parent and a child. Family, I get it. I get it. I hear you loud and clear. All of you who are dead ass tired of hearing celebrities open their damn mouths and say asinine things. I've never really had a problem with Rihanna one way or the other. I've never felt so disgusted by anything she's ever said or done until now though. You see, there is overwhelming evidence that children who are raised with fathers oftentimes or most often fare better than kids who don't. Now, of course, we have some great examples of people who made it through. I'm one of them. I was raised in a single parent household by my mother. But I can tell you without a doubt, if my father was in the picture, who knows what heights I may have reached. And I can tell you something else. I would not have been rushing to become a man. I would not have been out in the streets at 10 years old, trying to get a job, trying to help out around the house, put food on the table, keep the lights on, trying to fill my dad's shoes, trying to become a man too fast. And you know how that goes. Talk about wild thoughts. I just had a wild thought. What if Chris Brown or one of these rappers would have said, I want to raise three or four kids within the next 10 years with or without their mother? What do you think the response would have been? What do you think people would be saying? After reading this woman's super stupid ass plan, I researched her upbringing and I was not surprised to discover that she had a tumultuous relationship with her father. Her father was an alcoholic and a crackhead. He beat her mother. She often would have to get between them. This is from her account. And by 14, she was being raised by a single parent. See, that goes to the heart of this type of mentality. She felt like, well, you know, it didn't work out for my mom and, you know, I had a couple other things that didn't work out for me. You know what? I just want babies. You know what, I don't need a man. I just want some babies. See, there are people out there that just want babies. They want babies so they can dress them up and put them on Instagram. And some want babies so they can have somebody to love them forever, which oftentimes don't even work out because when you have children for the wrong reason, you tend to forget the parenting skills what it really takes to raise a, raise a child. And so your child ends up missing critical stages in life, critical information in different stages of life that you can't give them because you wanted a trinket. You wanted a plaything. You wanted a friend, just somebody to love you unconditionally. Don't work like that. You got to put in real work. A lot of these women, they want kids just to dress them up or they want somebody to take care of them when they get old. This is a horrible idea. 
That's why so many people, not just women, but there are men with daddy issues. A lot of these dudes, they don't know what the hell to do because they, they haven't had a man to show them what to do. They don't know how to behave because they wasn't raised by a man. They don't have, they don't have the slightest idea of what it takes to be a man. And no, mama can love you to death and do everything and be there for you and everything. She still can't show you how to be a man because she don't even know how to be a man. You dig what I'm saying? All she can do is show you what she thinks a man should be or how a man should behave. But even when she got it all the way down pat, a boy is not going to respect a woman the same way he would a man. He's just not. He might respect you just out of on the strength that's mama or whatever, but as far as like listening to you and trusting you that information that you give, you know, like how you know you ain't been there? How you gonna tell me how to deal with beef? Yeah, but you're dealing with man beef and women beef, that's two different things. Now, how you gonna tell me how to go out and be a man? How you gonna tell me to watch out for these women and what to do, whatever? They gonna always think that you have an ulterior motive, just like a man telling a girl how to behave. You know, she, okay, knows that, okay, that's dad, he loves me, whatever, but he just don't understand. Oh, now, nah. it ain't no coincidence that you have a man and a woman that's needed to make a baby. It's no coincidence. That's balance. Balance is what it's about. She going in, look, ain't nothing guaranteed, but at least when you go in and you procreate, you at least go in with the idea that you're going to try to go the distance. You dig what I'm saying? Hey, but you know, it's a new day. That's what they say, it's a new day. Modern day, you know, it's, we do something different now, it's different. You know, you know, you know we, we different. Have you noticed that there's like, uh, that kind of coincides with all of these uh, divorces and all these different baby mamas and different baby daddies and the kids ain't got no discipline and and the kids are left to their own devices and doing this, doing. Have you have you noticed that the family structure is off? And maybe that have something to do with the way that the kids are acting. Have you ever given that any thought? I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just old school and I'm I'm off. Maybe there's something wrong with me. But what say you? What do you think about Rihanna's plan to have three or four children before 2030? She wants to have three or four children before 2030 minus the father. Well, actually her words were like with or without a father. She's indifferent because at the end of the day, it's just about happiness. Unfortunately, we live in a society where when people have money and celebrity, what they say tends to carry weight and garner attention. It doesn't matter if they're slow up top. It doesn't matter if they have no class or integrity. They could be the most horrible, lying, thieving, conniving person in the universe, and people will follow them by the thousands, sometimes millions, as in the case of Rihanna. Rihanna could tell someone to go jump off a bridge and she'll have a line around the corner of people ready to do so. Rihanna is a great performer, but she's damaged goods. It's not all her fault. Her father damaged her and her mother to an extent by her failure to protect her from her abusive father. Now Rihanna is taking that negative part of her childhood and she's projecting some of that on her fan base. Some of them are going to take what she says to heart about raising three or four kids, one parent deep, and they're gonna go out there and fall on their face, just like she will, I suspect. 
Fellas, I want you to do something for me. In fact, if you're a father, do this for yourself. I want you to listen to this song by John Mayer and apply it to your relationship with your daughter. The song is called Daughters. The lyrics go, Fathers be good to your daughters. Daughters will love like you do. Girls become lovers who turn into mothers. So mothers be good to your daughters too. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?